Today, I'm going to show you how to make this adorable pencil topper. I wanted to come up with an idea that the kids would absolutely love to make. As a kid, I loved pencil toppers. I loved to just write with anything that was cute and fun on the end of my pencil. The only problem that I had was the fact that when I had a cute pencil topper on my pencil, I didn't have an eraser. And that's why I came up with this bumblebee eraser because that way when the kids are writing and they make a mistake they can take their little bumblebee and erase it with the tail. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> I love the way the little bee bounces up and down. Stuff like that just tickles the fire out of me. And I think that the kids are going to like it as much as I do. <laughs> I use the paper towel holder to trace a circle for the center of the flower. Then I cut it out. I then sketch out the size of the petal that I would like. I cut that out. Now I have a pattern for the center of the flower and the petal. Now I take the petal and I put it on my foam piece and I trace around. I make five petals and then I cut them out. I trace and cut two center pieces for the flowers. Let's make our bee. I start out with a yellow pencil eraser. Out of a black foam sheet, I cut two small antennas for the bumblebee. Then I get my black pipe cleaner. I fold it in half and then I twist it around itself to make it sturdy. I get a small yellow pom-pom for the head of the bumblebee. I take my hot glue gun and I fill the eraser with glue. I get the folded end of my twisted pipe cleaner and I stick it in the end of the eraser. Then I glue the pom-pom onto that end of the eraser. I turn the eraser so that the flat side is facing outward. I cut two eyes out of black foam and then I glue them onto the pom-pom. Now I give him a cute, happy mouth. I put stripes on the body with the black magic marker. Then I put my antennas on. I cut two small wings out of the white foam and I make them a teardrop shape. Then I glue them onto the body of the bee. Now I get my pipe cleaner and I wrap it around the pencil. And then I pull it off and we have a bouncy bee. Now I get the yellow center of the flower and I glue all the white petals around the outside edge of it like this. I determine where I want to put my pencil. 
I separate the two ends on my pipe cleaner and then I determine where I want to put my bumblebee on my flower and then I hot glue the pipe cleaner onto the flower. Now I hot glue all the way around the center of the flower. I set my pencil in the middle then I push the center of the yellow flower over top of the pencil. And now we have a happy daisy flower. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this craft today. If you give this a try, I'd love to hear from you. Or if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave it in the comment section below. I'll see you next time. Bye! Today I have a very special guest and she is one very happy bird. And it is so ironic that I am giving a shout out to one very happy bird's website. Hi Ellen, how are you doing today? I was a lot better before I saw you loving on my old man, but I'm as good as Brits. I would like to know what makes you so very happy. Pecking on corn makes me pretty joyful. You do realize you're talking to a chicken now, don't you? Now, one very happy bird's website is a crafting website. She's got some good stuff on her site, so go check her out. Do you have anything else that you would like to add? I think we would all be hunky-dory if you put some of them there links somewhere. Oh yes, I am going to leave a link to One Very Happy Bird's website down below. Go check it out. Say bye. Toodaloo. Now, I get to give her kisses. She give me some sugar. She loves this. <laughs> That's One Very Happy Bird.